Hey entertainment enthusiasts, get ready for the latest scoop in the world of Chinese TV dramas because Zhang Yimou's blockbuster main character is creating waves in the casting arena, and it's a showdown of epic proportions. Picture this, a TV drama that's not just your run-of-the-mill show, but a spectacular piece of entertainment directed by none other than the maestro Zhang Yimou. Titled Main Character, this drama is all about the glitz, glamour, and cutthroat competition for the lead role. Initially, the buzz was all about Zhao Li Ying taking on the mantle of the main female character. But hold on to your seats, folks, because there's a twist in the tale. Brace yourselves for the sizzling rumors that both Yangzi and Li Chen are throwing their hats into the ring, turning the casting process into an all-out battle for the coveted leading female role. Main character is not just your average drama. It's a Chinchong opera extravaganza adapted from Chen Yan's award-winning novel Jujue. The plot revolves around the life of Yi Chin Ge, a Chinchong opera luminary who rises from the ashes to become the true main character on the stage, all set against the backdrop of a thrilling half-century journey. Zhang Yi Mao is making his grand entrance into television direction with this project, promising not only a strong female lead, but also a script that's nothing short of a masterpiece. You bet actresses are queuing up for this golden opportunity, and here's the kicker. The Do Bon page for main character is giving us major teasers, listing Zhao Liying as Qin Ge alongside other talents like Qin Hailu and Yi Yang Qian Shi. But and it's a big but, the entire cast is still up in the air until the official word drops. Breaking news folks, in the cutthroat world of Chinese drama, Yangzi, the reigning queen of the 90s generation, and Li Qin, a traditional Chinese opera prodigy, are set to duke it out for the lead role. Yangzi, with her stellar performances and Weibo Queen title, is a force to be reckoned with. She's no stranger to powerful female roles and has proven time and again that she's got the chops to bring any character to life. But wait, there's more. Li Qin, hailing from a Kunchu opera background, is no slouch either. Trained by the Chinese government for a whopping nine years, she's a walking encyclopedia of traditional Chinese opera. Despite being tagged as a shining but unpopular character in the past, her role as the chicken leg fairy in Joy of Life catapulted her into the limelight. So buckle up entertainment aficionados. The battle for the leading role in main character is on, and the stakes have never been higher. Who will emerge victorious in this drama showdown? It's time for another dose of sizzling entertainment news. And this time, it's all about the stunning Bai Lu and the upcoming wuxia fantasy drama that's set to take the small screen by storm. Bai Lu has been owning the historical drama scene with powerhouse performances in Till the End of the Moon and Story of Kuning Palace, solidifying her status as an absolute goddess in the genre. But hold on to your seats because the rumor mill is buzzing with whispers that she's gearing up to be the female lead in the highly anticipated wuxia fantasy drama, Hung Munja Sha. And guess who might be her leading man? None other than the dashing Wang Xingyue. Let's rewind a bit. In Story of Kuning Palace, Bai Lu took on the role of Zhang Xuening, embarking on a rebirth journey to rewrite her own destiny. Wang Xingyue, in her first life, portrayed Zhang Zhe, an upright official who faced the consequences of breaking the law for the the sake of Zhang Xuening. Now in their second life, love blossoms amidst the shadows of the past sacrifices. It's a touching, tragic love story that had fans reaching for the tissues. And here's the juicy part. Fans have been eagerly awaiting the day when these two phenomenal talents, Bai Lu and Wang Xingyue, could collaborate in a heartwarming drama. Guess what? The anticipation might just turn into reality. Bai Lu and Wang Xingyue aren't just on-screen partners. They're actually colleagues under the Wanyu Entertainment umbrella, sharing a bond that goes beyond the camera. Wang Xingyue even declared, no matter when, whether it's five years or ten years from now, if Bai Lu invites me, I will agree to any role. Talk about friendship goals, these talented artists have previously worked together in dramas like One and Only, Song of Youth, and of course, the tearjerker story of Kuning Palace. Wang Xingyue's acting prowess has seen a remarkable evolution, transitioning seamlessly from playing antagonists to characters with a positive vibe. Now, the rumor mill is churning out whispers that Bai Lu and Wang Xingyue might be teaming up once again in Hung Munja Sha, a wuxia fantasy extravaganza that's poised to be one of Wan Yu Entertainment's major projects this year. The expectations are sky high, and fans are already on the edge of their seats, eagerly waiting to witness this dynamic duo weave their magic on the screen once more. Stay tuned drama aficionados because the hype is real and the excitement is palpable. Will Bai Lu and Wang Xingyue's on-screen chemistry light up our screens once again? Keep those eyes peeled for more updates on this sensational drama journey.
Welcome to the latest scoop on the hottest historical drama that's taking the internet by storm, Sword and Fairy Six Pray for the Present. Starring the dynamic duo Yu Shu Shin and Shu Kai, this show premiered on January 18th and boy did it make waves. Now, Pray for the Present, it's adapted from the legendary video game Chinese Paladin Six. The plot is a roller coaster of emotions, centering around Yue Jinzhou, played by Shu Kai, and Yue Qi, played by Yu Shu Shin, who've lost their memories and spend three years to together in Wu Yan village, connected by a mystical resonance bond. But hold on, drama buffs, there's chaos afoot with the Chi Hun sacred sect rebellion, mysterious rituals at the Luo family castle, and a whole lot of jaw-dropping events. Despite a little criticism about Yu Xu Xin's childlike voice in the preview, the actual performance blew everyone away. Her portrayal of an amnesiac character brought enthusiasm and curiosity, making that voice fit like a glove. And can we talk about the sweet and genuine chemistry between Yu Shu Shin and Shu Kai? Netizens are all aboard the hype train, and it's safe to say that previous negative reviews got a one-way ticket to oblivion. But here's the real game changer, Shu Kai is stealing the spotlight with his dual roles as Yue Jinzhao and Bian Luo Huan. Fans are singing praises for his acting chops, and many believe this drama could catapult him back into the limelight. The premiere drew in over 23,000 viewers. And guess what? Yu Shu Shin, Shu Kai, Wang Xingyue, and the gang even did a live broadcast together. Talk about engaging with the audience, now let's switch gears to Sword and Fairy 4. Brace yourselves for some behind-the-scenes drama because of disputes between Chen Jie Yuan and Zhu Jingyi. Not only did they skip joint promotional activities, but Zhu Jingyi posted behind-the-scenes pics without a word about Chen Jie Yuan. Viewers sensed the discord, and the numbers took a nosedive compared to Pray for the Present. And folks, let's address the elephant in the room, the special effects. Pray for the present flaunts breathtaking visuals, leaving Sword and Fairy 4 in the dust. Despite the latter splurging 300 million Chinese yuan, about 42 million United States dollars, viewers were left scratching their heads at noticeable errors, like a modern car making a surprise cameo and crew members playing hide and seek behind obstacles. Sword and Fairy 4 premiered with 7,000 viewers, and the stark contrast with Pray for the Present is hard to ignore. Not only does Pray for the Present dazzle with stunning effects, but the Cast live broadcasts are also pulling in the crowds. So, drama enthusiasts, the verdict is in. Sword and Fairy 6 Prey for the Present has emerged as the reigning champion, leaving Sword and Fairy 4 in its dust. And that's a wrap for today, folks. Before you hit that exit button, share your thoughts with us in the comment section below. Your perspective on all the drama and excitement we just served up is priceless. We'll be back in the next video with even more scorching updates from the dazzling world of entertainment. Stay fabulous and catch you soon.